I realize that I've fallen short and not showing you all enough information about attaching and using files because this is a super handy way of doing things. So, for example, I'm going to take and set up a open my screenshot capture app first. Remember, if you are using a Mac, you can just use the I think it's Command Shift F3 or Command Shift 3 or Command Shift 4. I think is a combination, but you can look up easily how to screenshot on a Mac. For my PC, I like using this screenshot capture here. So I'm going to start off by opening that up, and when it does open, you see it comes up with this thing about being free not a big deal click it it is now gone from here I'm going to take and, and make a picture of one of the pages of the textbook I've already pulled up with screenshot capture all I have to do is hit shift print screen and when I do now you can see it takes and gives me lines that I can work on I left click down drag it left click up hit save as and that's how I'm going to save that's page 252 and where do I want to save that at I'm going to go to my desktop I'm going to go to my temporary folder I'm going to go to my book pages and I'm going to save it right there it's page 252 and you see right here I have a whole bunch of book pages already saved up from here I'm going to go into my lesson and oops, I'm going to create a new page. And this new page, we're just going to use it as a temporary page. I'm put under other useful things for now where you're finding this lesson. And on this page, I'm going to just put a um, click page, click new page, and then I'm going to say homework page 252. And I'm going to hit add item. Now there's a couple th ways I can proceed from here. I can take and go in, click on that, click edit, and then go and click on the embed image here, and then from there, um, take and, oh wow, they've changed this. You thought in the past you could upload it, but now you can't upload it anymore. So. Oh, yeah, you can. So I clicked on Canvas, and then you can click on Upload a File. But I don't want to upload a file. I want to take and you have to put where you're going to put it at, too, and then click Upload File. I don't want to upload a file. I want to upload all the files at one time. So instead, I'm going to take and click on Files first, leave that page, and I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll just call that new folder. We've already talked about this before Book Pages. I'm going to open book pages and then I'm going to upload. What am I going to upload? I'm going to upload all of these pages at one time. See the advantage of doing it this way is all your pages go in at one time and then you just select them. If you do it the other way that I just showed you, then you only get to upload one page at a time. So I've selected them all, I'm dropping them all, and you can see they're uploading. I'm going to pause for just a minute till they're uploaded. Alright, all my pages are uploaded, ready to use. Now I'm going to go back to the Summer PD course we have. I'm going to open this homework page again. I'm going to hit Edit again. And now I'm going to take, let's go ahead and put in instructions. So, instructions, I'm going to make this nice and big to match up with the size of the image. Complete page 252 numbers 1 through 5 hundred all no crying allowed and then I'm going to put in my image now I'm just going to click my image I'm going to click on canvas I'm going to click on my oh, me, course files under course files there's book pages and then there's all the book pages we just uploaded there's page 252 and it's in there hit save and publish and now that's what your students are going to see. They get their instructions up top here, and there's the book page for them to work off of. For you guys, I'm going to, um, eh, that's good enough. So we're just going to leave it at that, and I will, um,
give you some little question to have fun with after this and that's it for this one